Hello everybody, today I am filming my July favorite. No, I'm not calling this a favorites video. That was like a total flashback to like eighth grade when, not even eighth grade, like when I first started YouTube, we would make those videos called like January favorites. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a, what month is it? January favorites video and this is like, I'm sure you guys have all seen these videos. It's when people just show you what items they've been using really recently and stuff. In March, favorites, and like you had to do one every single month or else you were like super uncool. And if you like made it too late, you'd have to like apologize for it being late. I don't even know why I said July favorites. That was so weird because it's not even July yet. It must have just been like in my mind that it was turning July. But this is just a things I've been liking video and I've had a few, um, I was just washing my face, this is off topic, and I put the towel on my face and I kid you not, like, you know the really small and just pitch black, like multi-legged spiders? One came out of the towel and I didn't scream, I was so collected, I handled it really well, I debated calling somebody just like for like comfort purposes, but I didn't. I just really took it in and I handled it so well and I'm really proud of myself. I do have chills now that I'm thinking about it, but I'm moving on from the fact that that happened to me. Anyway, I found my glasses, which I thought I lost in Colorado about six months ago. Turns out they were just in the really, like, I have this purse that I never use and I went to Nashville and so I guess the last time I used the purse was Colorado. So I went to put my camera in my purse, my little vlogging camera promo to my Nashville vlogs. I went to put my camera in my purse and it hit something and I was like, what's that? And I wore my glasses and I literally thought I lost them in a mountain in Colorado. So life is crazy. And also I got my cartilage pierced. I'll insert a really creepy picture in my ear. I'm super pumped about it. Honestly, it did not hurt that much. Like if you have been thinking about getting it, I would just do it because I have like a very low pain tolerance, but and I'm like terrified of needles like anytime the blood drive thing would come to school like I would get queasy thinking about it and like my friends would go and do it and post on snapchat and like I honestly wouldn't be surprised if that's why I deleted snapchat because like I I can't do <laughs> needles like it makes me nervous thinking about them I just like I IVs like really don't do needles and I was completely fine. I didn't even see the needle that went in my ear. It was fantastic. I'm super hype about that. Everyone always asks me what this is. I've been rambling for like three minutes. That's what my channel is, I'm sorry. It's the 15th and the 1st by Waka Flocka lyrics. Like the first two lines. It says, there's a white girl in town, name is Cocaine, there's some dirty birds in town, Gucci Mane and Waka Flame. My friend Kat did it, she's incredible. Now on to things that I've been liking. The first major necessity of my summer is funky pants. Because <laughs> if you're like me, um, I don't know, sometimes I just don't shave my legs for like an extent and two male boys, male boys, that's a word, have told me in the last 48 hours I need to shave my legs. So I tend to wear pants a lot just because I like pants. I find comfort in wearing pants and I have to wear them to work anyway. So I've been going for funky pants. <laughs> And this pair, and the pair I want to talk about after this, I both got for $10 at Urban Outfitters, like less than $10. They were like $8.98, but then with tax, you know? And I got, these are the ones in Seattle. And I received so much hate for these, but they're like my favorite pants. I just think they're so funky, like unexpected turn of events. And they're super comfortable. And then my flowered ones, which I just got in Nashville, I showed them in my last Outfit of the Weeks video. Also an incredible purchase. Those are like super baggy though, so they don't even look like denim. I roll them once actually, or else like they really are just too baggy. For some reason in my mind, I thought that they were gonna shrink in the wash, so I bought them like two sizes too big because they were just like too cute to pass up. And then this pair of funky pants, like these are not even funky, they're straight up ugly. Um, I call them my jorts. So, cause I don't, I don't know what else to call them. They stop like right at your kneecap. Um, I'll try them on. I might have showed these in half the weeks. But then the back is like full coverage and it's so strange because when you're walking this way, people are like, what is that girl wearing? Like, this is the ugliest pair of shorts ever. But then from this side, it kind of scams you into thinking they're cute. So, got you. And these are from Style Exchange in Mount Pleasant. 
Um, they just opened a store downtown Charleston now, which is real cool. I forget about the next thing I want to talk about. If you are of 18 years or older, you need to watch Scandal. I am obsessed with it. I can't stop watching it. It's not very scandalous, like the first two seasons, like scandal-wise, but then it kind of gets more scandalous. So wouldn't suggest it to like middle schoolers, but I mean, it's the best show I've ever seen ever. And I've watched four seasons of it in like less than two months, like four full seasons. It's so good. And like, I don't even like Olivia Pope that much. Honestly, I think like that face she makes when she like makes herself the victim of every situation that she makes herself, like I, I can't stand it. But like, I can't stop watching it because like the other characters I like so much, I don't know. I think it's super good. Another pair of pants that I've received a lot of hate from are my Old Navy shorts because I think Old Navy shorts are the best shorts in the world. And no one ever wants to go to Old Navy with me, but you would never know these are from Old Navy and they are so cute and they are the perfect length and they're so soft and worn in and I just love Old Navy shorts. I wanted to tell you that I love Old Navy shorts. This sort of style of bathing suit top, also in my outfit of the week, I wore these with overalls and I just think this kind of top is the best if you're like me and you're uncoordinated and all of a sudden your body parts that are not supposed to be out are out when you're trying to get out of the water and this totally prevents that so anytime I go on a boat or anything somewhat athletic that's not athletic that was not the word but like need some sort of coordination I wear a top like this and it's incredible and yes it gives you weird tan lines do I care not particularly because like every bathing suit top I've been wearing has this so hair wise now that I just touched my hair if you didn't know, I cut my hair. I was like super long and scraggling on for poor dear life. Um, but since I've cut my hair, I've been straightening my hair because if I don't, my hair's naturally kind of like waves. So what it does if I don't straighten it, it goes and then just stops. So it looks like, do you get what I'm saying? It's not good. So what I've been doing is I've been washing my hair on like Sunday and blow drying it Sunday night because I don't like to sleep in wet hair. This is just like, I don't do this just on Sundays. This is just a, like day-to-day -day reference. And then I'll like straighten it Monday morning or all day Monday or all day Tuesday and then wash it again on Tuesday night. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And it's been working really good for me, I think. I don't like the fact I have to use heat on my hair, but I don't, it looks better, so I'm gonna do it. Shoe-wise, that was a very excited shoe. I've never been so excited to say the word shoe. Um, I got these shoes from Target. They're knockoffs of like the really nice shoes and I really like them. They're super comfortable. Don't give me blisters. The only thing is that they're like literal shoelaces, which I think is kind of funny. Like it's like Target literally put sneaker shoelaces on nice sandals. I was going to get like the actual versions, but my friend Charlie was like, you leave for Oregon in two months. Why would you do that? And I was like, you are so right, my friend. Save money, live better, Walmart, but Target. I'm trying to think of anything else that I might have. I'm wearing sweatpants right now because it's super cold in my house and I don't know why because it's the end of June. It's super cold. My car broke down again so I started riding my bike to places I can ride my bike. My grandpa lives in my neighborhood so I rode my bike to his house the other day. I rode my bike to SK's house the other day. Well I rode it halfway to her house and then I gave up because it was like kind of far. My mom picked me up. Everyone's doing like college orientation this month. Sorry, I just had a smoothie and smoothies first give me brain freezes and then like they make me hiccupy. I don't know why. Everyone's doing college orientation. My friend Morgan met her college froomey roommate, sweetmate thing, and I was really upset because now I want a froomey, but I won't get a froomey, but it's okay because I can have fake froomies. 